Hey everybody, James with My Breeder Supply. Love my pups. So we are gonna to talk today about puppy poop. Uh, causes that maybe they're not pooping, uh, constipation, treatment for it and all that kind of stuff. So this girl here is now nine days old, 10 days old, her eyes have opened up. Look, there's a bit of milk there on her nose. We'll just get rid of that. Um, okay. So now this girl is not constipated. I'm not actually gonna do this because I don't want to upset this little girl. But the, what you can find happens is, is they can get constipated. They can get constipated for a number of reasons. Um, one is, is that their back end, you look under the tail here, and you'll see that it's all crusted up. This girl is not. She's just as clean as can be. Doesn't have a little red anus. Doesn't have coked up poop. But one thing that can happen if they're not pooping is because mum's not been cleaning this up very well. And you lift this tail up and you'll see there's just black crudded up poop that's dried up and is physically blocking the hole. And of course, in that situation, the dog can't poop and it gets in trouble and gets upset. Um, so what do you do in that situation? Simple, just simply go get a wet, warm, moist towel and start working away and get that poop out of there. The puppy's not gonna like this. I mean, the puppy will be crying as they're doing this because it's gonna have a sore butt. But the first step is check this back end get it clean, if there's any muck there, remove it. And if you've got one puppy that's got muck there, you can bet your bottom dollar that the other ones probably do as well. So you need to go check them all. And by the way, this is something that you should be doing on a routine basis anyway, because you just don't want to get in this situation where they get a sore little butt. Once they've got a sore butt, you could put some Neosporin on there. It's not going to be that helpful because the simple answer is mum's just going to lick it off anyway, but it's certainly not going to hurt anything. So a little bit of Neosporin. I put. Okay, but now we've got a puppy that um, um, is not pooping, probably has a hard swollen stomach, not like this. This is all, this puppy here is all nice and soft and fat and healthy. So this is not an example of a dog that's in trouble. But this technique is this, you go get some nice warm water, not that it would burn you, not as, as hot as a cup of coffee, but get in there, all right? And then you add to that a couple of drops, and I'll just put this puppy down while I do this, a couple of drops, not a lot, like that, and then give that a good stir up. We wanna make it slightly slippery. Then get yourself a one mil syringe. You don't need a big syringe. You could use a three cc syringe, so three mil. I've got a one mil here. Take one mil of water, there it is. One mil of our soapy water mix. And then you simply, in, it's, it may be helpful to have someone's help. You simply stick this into their anus and you squirt that water in gently. That is plenty of water. You do not need that much, but it's gonna start running out. Don't start forcing it. This is just gentle pressure just to get that into its anus. It's gonna drip out and hopefully it'll start pooping, right? And I mean, how often can you do this? As necessary. I mean, don't do it five times in a row right now. Do it once. And then you can see whether that does any good. And if that water doesn't come out, let that water sit in there and hopefully it'll start working and it'll loosen things up and off you go. Um, some other things that if you're really having problems with this and things aren't working, mineral spirits, uh, excuse me, uh, mineral oil, not mineral spirits, I wrote totally the wrong thing. Mineral oil, olive oil. These things that are really slippery and put a little bit of that up there, that can help as well. Um, I had a situation with myself one time where I swallowed a, a, a chicken bone and got in trouble over it. And I went to the doctor and I hadn't got anywhere with it. And he said, well, just go take a jigger, a shot glass uh, of mineral oil. And I did that and by God, about an hour later, it worked like a champ. It, it really lubed me up. So you could give a little bit of, of uh, you know, you could give them a little bit of, uh, of uh, um, um, mineral oil to eat. You could do that too. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just generally, helps grease up their inside. But start at this end first, see if they're impacted here. If they are, get them clear. Use some soapy, warm water with a little bit of soap in it and gently squirt that up their butt. Wait for an hour. If that doesn't work, do it again another hour or two and just kind of work at that and see if you can get them to poop. And it'll make them a lot more comfortable. Um, okay, there we go. Bye everybody.